show us that it works. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. All right. And this. So that works just fine. I'm gonna close that up. switches. We can turn these on and off. All the other lights are by automatic. All these other lights are by automatic switch. They go on and off by themselves. This is a security door. <sighs> this is the key to the security door. It's kind of rough. Yeah, but it opens. Sometimes it opens. It's a little rough. Um, there used to be a pot here. There's a problem here on the floor where the floor is heating up. They've, um, you can hear it. It has a tendency to stick. And if you open it wide, it'll stay open on its own without any help whatsoever. So, and a lot of people do that. Wait this way. This is um, the neighbor's uh, area. If you look at the floor, there are oil stains on the floor underneath the car. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And you can see, um, if you just come over here, you can see how I can press this button. And the door opens. I can press this door. She's got it locked. She chooses to lock it, but this guy, you can open and close it. Anybody who wants to can. Tommy has this set up. Over here, she also has stains from oil on her garage door. And if you look at the ceiling up here, you can see where there is water. It's been coming down like mold, and there are water stains from piping problems over the years, right here. And you can see where we have some water problems over here and around this pipe. And you can see where the water has come down the uh, wall. You can see where the floor is heaving up from water problems and is becoming uneven. And you can see the same thing over here where it's heaving up and cracking over here. These are garage bays 10 and 9, which belong to the owner. Uh, these are the floors in comparison. They have been cleaned out. I don't know why there's leaves unless they're blowing in. There is no way to lock either one of these. Oh. Uh, you can see that there is water damage up here by this here coming from the ceiling. There is water damage coming from the ceiling up here. This is a ventilation duct that runs from here to here for ventilation that was put in by the secretary of the board of the directors with just permission of the president for her uh, dryer vent because she was having ventilation problems. Uh, it starts here at the ceiling it runs across garage bay 9 and 10 and out that wall because it was impossible for her to run her dryer without it. So that was an accommodation that was given to her as the secretary of the board. 
Uh, this is the water, shared water uh, source. Uh, this was a leak. This was an accommodation that was given to the secretary of the board of directors. Uh, it's a handle that is easier for a handicapped person to use. Okay. Over here is a wall. Uh, we have a lot of cracks in this wall, but the wall is dry. Um, I've come down here after we've had, this is the end of Hurricane Sandy, and I can see some water accumulating here on the floor here and here where it's wet, but basically the wall is still dry even though uh, it's October 31st, 2012, and you can see that it's raining, that the water is thick on the ground, and the water has been here for over a week now. You can see the water is just pooling, and has been pooling and it's, it's not going anywhere, and we'll show you more water outside. But the condition, if you look up at the, uh, you can see the bright, white, uh, those marks were on that garage door when we got it. That's from the workers putting their dirty hands after they use grease on the chain, I assume, I'm not sure. And the same thing on this garage door here. These, uh, this was uh, fixed in the beginning, a new one was put in, I believe, and the chain was fixed. They had to put a new garage door opener in when I moved in. The chain is too long and it leaves a mark on the outside of the door. You can see somebody's handprints up there, dirty handprints. Uh, same thing over here, you can see dirty handprints over here from when they uh, put it in. That's why there's dirty handprints all over this uh, particular door. They've been scrubbed down uh, to the best of our ability. So that's it for the garage. Over here you can see how the heaving up is really happening here and how it's very uneven. The water pools against this wall when you use it. You can see how uneven just by looking at the car and how the, the garbage tilts against the wall. And we have another big crack over here and it's letting a lot of, um, you can see how these leaves are coming in underneath the door since this has been swept out and uh, this has been closed for quite some time, we thought, unless somebody opened it. Here are all the garage door openers. I have three of them, and we'll show you how each one of them works. This one goes up, this one goes down. So I press this, door goes down. Press this, door goes up. This one, the door goes down. This one goes up. This particular has a lock and a light, so it's possible using this button to lock this particular door as the tenant of number garage bay number seven is able to lock that door so no one can open or close that door at any time while she is away or while she is at home. The, when this door, this was replaced by the electrician and uh, by the owner and they only put in this button. They did not put in something that was secure. So this, anyone could come in and press this up, press this down. And as you can see, with this particular garage door opener, there is no way to lock it. So again, anyone could open and close this door at any time. The only way to stop it from opening would be to unplug it, which anybody could do, and anybody could plug it back in. The way to open these and close these doors at any time is by using the release mechanism, which still works. And anybody can do this and make it a manual door. To bring this down again, you just press the button. And eventually,
directions are right here on the garage door opener and can be called in there or by calling the number for Chamberlain or on the back of the unit. Any responsible person can do this. This is also located here on the list master and here. Turn off. Large gaps of air coming through the garage doors. I've put mouse traps at either end because we have a problem with mice coming into the house. They come into the house, we think through the uh, vents here, since this is a heated garage. They can also come in through pipes. They can warm their way through pipes. Uh, they can come in wherever there is a crevice or a crack. And as you can see, with that door completely closed, there's a lot of daylight there because of the heating in the floor. This is a common problem throughout all of the community. Off. The garage door openers are going to be left here on the microwave counter with a set of complete keys. This is the only complete set of keys available right here on the counter. And we will mail the uh, key to the security door, key to the deadbolt, and key to the front door to the owner. The key, there's only one key to the mailbox, one key to the storage area, and one key to the gate, which will remain here. But these three keys, there's an extra set, will be mailed to the owner by United States Postal Service. Tape off. Starting here at the entryway. Um, over here, we the vent came uh, was painted into the ceiling, and using a straight edge, the paint uh, came off. It needs to be repainted, I assume. Touched up by the landlord, the owner. In cleaning the vents, same thing, this was uh, painted to the ceiling. The landlord will have to touch up the paint. Let me get this light on for you. Alrighty, let's see. This doesn't look like any other problems here. There are no webs. Everything's been cleaned and dusted. Ceilings are clean. There's just that problem where we had to clean the vents. And since the vents had not been uh, taken off before the prior painter, he painted over the vents. You're going to have to touch up the ceiling. That's up to somebody because we're not permitted to paint. Let's look over here on this part of the ceiling. See if there's anything here. Maybe a bit of dust here, a little bit of web. Ceiling looks good. Another piece of web. Missed it when we vacuumed. Uh, that looks like insect piece of web. Another piece of web we missed when we vacuumed. Here we go. That was somebody's paintbrush. That looks like pink mold bleeding through. We found that in another area. Or it might be some glue. We found that in another area. All right, let's see. Over here in the ceiling and here. I'm not sure. That's also something from the former 